Hi, I'm Jeff Stokes. Welcome to Jeff's Daily Dose of Encouragement. Today I want to encourage you to prove God for yourself. Oftentimes people, we, we can talk till we're blue in the face, as the saying goes, or we can show all the evidence that we possibly can that God is real, that Jesus Christ is who he said he was, that the Bible is true. But it doesn't matter what we say to other people, people won't just believe us. And that's actually good, and that's actually the way it's supposed to be, and God's designed it, because what God really wants to do is reveal himself to people so that they personally know that he's real, not just because someone else says so. Because otherwise, that's how cults and, and, and religious extremism and false religions and, and, and things like that start. So in Romans chapter 12, verse 1, Paul says this, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is a reasonable service. And in verse 2 it says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And if you have trouble believing God and don't, you know, you're a skeptic and you don't really still don't believe stuff, then over in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18, God personally speaks through the prophet and says, Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be white. They will they shall be as wool. And then in verse 19 it says, If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. And verse 20 says, But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured with the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Now at the time he was talking to Israel specifically. Because what would happen is if they obeyed God they'd have peace in their land. But if they disobeyed other nations would come and attack them and, and kill them and stuff. But the point here is that God says come now and let us reason together. Now I'm not advocating that you have a bad attitude towards God. But if you're in that place where you're a skeptic. I heard someone say the other day, God loves a good argument, you know, and if you're truly wanting to know whether the Bible really is true or not, and you're not just going around trying to criticize everything because you're just a, a negative person, but you genuinely want to know whether it is actually true or not, and whether Jesus is really true or not, the great thing is you cannot do this in any other uh, religion in the world, but you can... But you can do it uh, in the Christian faith because, as Jesus said, you know, he, he said, I have the power to lay down my life and take it up again. He is seated at the right hand of God. He's alive and God is alive and is forever existent it, from eternity to eternity. He's God. And so because he is actually there and he's a real person, you can actually talk to him and reason with him ask him questions, throw your arguments at him, and he will answer you, but you need to be genuine because he won't muck around with people that are just not really genuine in their, in their, in their seeking. But he will answer you, absolutely. So that's my encouragement for you today, is that you can prove God for yourself. You don't need to badger other people and, and try and tear their arguments apart and everything. You can do it for yourself. If you, don't, if, if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwells in him and he in God. God bless you. Have a great day.